When teachers are first coming into an environment, if they have the opportunity to really understand and know how to observe a child. So there's many different ways that we can observe a child. We can observe a child you know, just by a written record of writing down everything that they do. We can observe different situations, of different social situations. Um, you can take a time sample. You can do a lot of different ways of, of gathering data in, an, in different ways so that you can really understand who that child is and why they act the way they act or whether or not they understand a concept and that whether or not that you need to adapt things or switch things up for them. I think um, if a teacher really does learn how to observe at the very beginning, then the data comes just right along with that, that you start to inter interpret the things that you're observing so that you can say, okay, that child didn't get that lesson. They didn't really understand what happened there. I need to step back a little bit or I need to do it in a different way so that they can access the curriculum as well. Because not every single lesson is going to hit every single student. You know, just because it's it may be the most incredible lesson ever if it has a whole bunch of different materials, if it has this and that, and they can, they're really engaged, they may not understand the concept still. And so through observation of really understanding whether or not they understand the skill and understand and are ready to move forward is when we get that, we get that through observation. We get that through really watching the child and seeing what they do.